Hello everybody and welcome back. In today's episode, we're gonna be painting the Foam Knight helmet. The last video I did was actually putting it together. Well, this time we're gonna paint it, but we're gonna be using a new product called Spastic Chrome. I've never used this stuff before. Uh, it was highly recommended to me from some fellow makers because I want this helmet to be a little bit chromier and shinier and make it look less battered, make it look more like a metal helmet. Hope it works. <laughs> so if you guys are ready, let's get started. Well, I did some prep off camera. I went ahead and took some 400 grit sandpaper and uh, sanded a little imperfections out of it. Got it as smooth as possible. Then took uh, some alcohol and a paper towel and wiped off some of the residue. Then I wanted to put a, a black base on it. So I used uh, Sims, black Sims. Now Sims is, is a flexible paint and it works really good on foam as well. So I went ahead and sealed it with that. And I went ahead and took Rust-Oleum 2X Clear and proceed to put a really heavy coat on it. This had a whole day to dry. Look how shiny that is. So that's one of the things when you use the, um, the spats paint to get the best results, make sure that the thing you're painting is black, jet black, and has a glossy finish. Cause we're gonna put this on with an airbrush. Like 20, it says about, it says in the directions about um, 15 to 20 PSI. It means you know, it doesn't wanna come out heavy, it's gonna come out very light. And do very thin, light coats on this. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's take this guy to the spray booth and start applying the color. Holy cow, look at this. <laughs> that is crazy um it's super chromey and shiny but i like this i'm just thinking if i'm going to age this i don't want to do oils because oil paint will just strip this right off right down to the black because yeah. usually you do oils and you dab it and you let it dry and you wipe off the excess but this is on so thin my fear is it's going to take the uh the finish off so I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and we do some aging with some acrylic paints some raw sienna oh it's burnt sienna burnt sienna is actually good too kind of a ruddy brown I'm gonna make a little bit of a ruddy and my chip brush <laughs> wow, this stuff is super shiny. It really does take a beating. Let's do some spots. Let's try to just do random, like there maybe. Where there's, uh, uh, you see the recesses. Let's try to put a little bit of uh, some dirt in there. Do it and step back from it a little bit too. But I just definitely wanna get the, uh, the nooks and crannies. Yeah, the more I've been trying to age this with the acrylic, it looks, that's all right, but it's not enough. And my, my fear is I'm gonna overdo it in spots. So I wanna have more control in the aging, so I'm gonna focus on it. And the best way to do that is with an airbrush. So I'm gonna go ahead and use, uh, I have some uh, Tamiya Semi-Gloss Black, and I have some Tamiya Flat Earth. I'm gonna mix these two together, make it a little bit more dark brown, blackish brown, and take the airbrush to it and kind of focus on the spots. Cause yeah, my fear is that I've been doing it with acrylic and it's just not really looking as good as I'd like it to go. So I'm gonna try to control it with an airbrush. But there it is again. The airbrush made the edges pop a little bit more, a little bit not, a little bit more of a natural fade without standing out too much. The acrylic started looking a little bit too choppy with the brush, so. Airbrush, and it looked great. I went back with the airbrush and kind of darkened where the dents would be. Now, normally when you paint a helmet, you want the dents to be shiny, but I figured the helmet's already shiny, so where the dents and cracks and crevices would be, we'd go ahead and put dirt. This finish is amazing. Um, it's pretty durable. Um, it's the first time working with it, so over test of time, I'll see how long this holds up. But I mean, this paint sticks really well. I'm really impressed. Good stuff. I call this helmet done. Now, 
there it is. Again, guys, I cannot tell you how remarkable this paint is. Again, it's spastic. As a matter of fact, if you want to know where to get this, I'll have everything listed below the video. As a matter of fact, this pattern, I have a link for that as well. Do yourself a favor, go to my website, eviltedsmith.com. I have numerous patterns. If this is your first time watching my video, don't forget to subscribe and also shop through my links on Amazon. It helps me keep making videos. Uh, this video you're seeing is from my live stream I do on twitch.tv slash eviltedsmith every Monday, every other Monday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Again, so this stuff is remarkable. I can't wait. This really inspired me to make more props that I want to end up being shiny. Like this would be great for like a knife blade or something or an axe. Who knows? Remarkable stuff. I could babble forever. <laughs> Everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you back next time right here on Evil Ted Live.